Hello, hello, hello. I'm Janice and I hope you're all doing well. Every now and then on this channel, uh, I choose a cuisine that I haven't featured before and we go on a food tour around Sydney. We've done it for Filipino food, we've done it for Indian food, Thai food, Taiwanese food, there's more. And in today's video, we are going on an Indonesian food tour here in Sydney. I have spoken to some of my Indonesian friends to give me recommendations on what some of their favorite restaurants are and what they always order there. So we're going to be hitting up multiple restaurants in this video. Before we start, I want to thank ABC Sweet Soy Sauce for sponsoring today's video, but more on them a little bit later because we've got a really big agenda for today. I'm starting this video off with a nasi goreng because selfishly that is what I'm craving right now. Essentially this is Indonesian fried rice and in addition to this I've also ordered something that I feel like I should because that is the name of this restaurant. I've ordered two sambals, a eggplant sambal and I've also got a dried anchovies with green chili sambal. It sounds spicy and it looks spicy, but apparently it is not. This egg is so beautifully runny. It just like popped right over the bed of rice. There's onions, there's chicken, there's some pickles on the side. And then we've got some fried onions, fried shallots on the top as well. I don't know if it's because I'm super, super hungry. You know what, maybe it's a combination of both. This is delicious. So the rice, it's got a brown color to it. I believe it's because of the sweet soy sauce that's used and it gives it a little bit of sweetness as well. The rice also has like a smoky, umami flavor to it as well. I think there is shrimp paste because this dish is very umami and there's like a, like a smoky flavor to it as well. And nothing is over the top. And the crackers add a nice crunchy texture to it. Let's try it with the sambal. This one is like an eggplant one. I'm just gonna try it as is. The eggplant is delicious. And there is a little bit of a kick to it. I can taste garlic. I can taste chili. I can taste, I think a little bit of like a citrusy taste to it as well. I don't know if I'm imagining it. There are days when I think, oh, my spice tolerance has increased. And then there are other days when I eat something that's supposedly not spicy. And I'm like, oof, I can definitely feel the heat. Having said that, it's actually not too much. So I would want to keep going back for more and more and more. Let's try the anchovies, <clears throat> green chili sambal. It's winter here in Australia. I'm gonna, try a little bit of this just as is Ooh, this is also very nice mm. this has like a a crunch from the anchovies and like a burst of savoriness between the two like between the anchovies and the eggplant i love the eggplant should i try the very very spicy one let's give it a go you know what like we should try things that we're not necessarily 100 percent comfortable with i just went to get my chili and one of the staff he was like it's very spicy. So I just got like a tiny, tiny little bit. It's actually not too bad. I can taste like garlic. I can taste chili. Maybe it's because the bite that I had didn't have a lot of the chili flakes. That was a good bite for me. All right, this video is off to a great start, but this is the first of many. It's been a while since I've filmed in this kitchen, so welcome back. And I want to thank ABC Sweet Soy Sauce for sponsoring this segment of today's video. So in line with the theme of this food tour, sweet soy sauce is actually used in almost every single Indonesian dish, whether as a condiment or as an ingredient in the dish. And ABC is a household brand in Indonesia known for their sauces and condiments. So I've had a lot of dishes made with sweet soy sauce, but mostly in restaurants. Personally, I don't have that much experience cooking with it, which is why I'm super grateful that they actually have a whole website full of super quick and simple recipes that you can make using these sauces, which is what I'm gonna to use today. So today I'm gonna to be making a chicken satay skewer, skewers, multiple, and also an Indonesian beef and vermicelli salad. So the chicken satay is mostly in the prep work in terms of the marinade and also the satay sauce. So the marinade is a combination of minced garlic, ginger, mild curry powder, salt, 
lime juice, vegetable oil, ABC sweet soy sauce, and water. So you can marinate this anywhere between one hour to overnight. I probably won't do it overnight. And then we're moving on to the satay sauce. We're blending roasted peanuts, rice vinegar, fish sauce, coconut milk, ABC original chili sauce, ABC sweet soy sauce, and tamarind paste. And we're done. And now the beef vermicelli salad. So we're gonna add ABC sweet soy sauce, oyster sauce, fish sauce, lime juice, rice vinegar, minced ginger, garlic, sesame oil, and salt into a bowl. This is gonna be our dressing. All right, my chicken satays are done and also my beef vermicelli salad is done. I'm gonna try this out. Oh, this plate is heavy. I'm gonna try the, the satay skewers first. They smell so good as I was cooking it. Also, that dressing for the beef salad was delicious. This is not bad at all. I'm pretty uh, impressed with myself. It's like sweet, it's savory. It's got a little bit of like a caramelized toffee char on the outside. It tastes pretty good with the satay sauce. Let me try the beef vermicelli salad. The presentation wise, it's okay. But the dressing, the dressing was really, really good. I've added some fried shallots on top at the very end and then sort of added the rest of the dressing on it as well. This dressing is so good. My goodness. It's like a combination of sweet and savory and citrusy. Of the two, I think this one is my favorite. So if you want to give these a go, you can find ABC sweet soy sauces at major supermarkets or grocery stores. And if you try any of these recipes, let me know how you go. But for now, we're going back to the food tour. Guys, I've just arrived at I Am Goring 99. And of course, as the name suggests, I'm going to be ordering chicken, but I'm open to suggestions and you know, we'll see what else on the menu uh, is attractive to me. So I was speaking to Augustine, one of the owners of this restaurant. Her parents opened this restaurant in 1998, which is like 25 years ago. And when I told some of my friends I was doing an Indonesian food video in Sydney, they were like, if you come here, you absolutely have to try their charcoal grilled chicken, which of course I'm gonna do that. The food has just arrived. I've ordered a range of different things. I've got charcoal grilled chicken, and I've also got fried chicken. I've got a veggie dish, and I've also got a coconut rice. And I was speaking to one of my friends, Adrian, which I think a lot of you guys actually know. He makes content on social media, places in Sydney you must visit. He suggested that I absolutely have to get the giblets. And I am super, super, super excited to try everything. So they have a few varieties available in terms of chicken. They, they marinate it in low heat for at least four hours at a minimum. And then depending on how you order it, they would either grill it on charcoal or they would deep fry it. And this is served with a sweet soy sauce and also a sambal that is house made. And it has a combination of chili, onion, tomato, fish paste, what was suggested to me, because I said I'm not that great with spicy stuff, despite loving it so much, is to mix it a little bit with the sweet sauce. It counteracts the spice a little bit. Let's do this. It's got a combination of sweet and savory, and then a nice charred flavor as well that kind of follows the sweetness and then the savoriness. There's still a really nice tenderness to this chicken as well. So we're at a restaurant called I Am Goreng. Of course we have to get fried chicken. 
the skin has a really nice crispness to it and there's also that hint of sweetness although it's not as prominent as the charcoal grilled chicken because they do brush the pieces of chicken with that marinade as they're cooking it so that sweetness is definitely more prominent in the charcoal one having said that the chicken thigh is still very tender on the inside i'm gonna try this sambar just as is oh my goodness <clears throat> you can taste the garlic you can taste the chili and taste a bit of the tomatoes it's very great for the appetizer you know what i mean like you just want to keep going back for more so this rice has i think fried shallots and onions on top but it is super fragrant with coconut like if i closed my eyes and i ate this 100 percent i'd be like oh this is coconut rice so for a veggie dish we've got a stir fry ong choy with belachan, onions and garlic and also chili. It smells super, super fragrant. You can definitely taste the shrimp paste. This is delicious. I can just have this with rice and be super, super happy. So this is kind of like the miscellaneous parts of a chicken, which sounds not that appetizing. I believe this is like a combination of like the heart and liver, the neck. This is delicious. I also have these satay chicken skewers. So there is one, two, three, five sticks, and then you can have the option of adding rice cakes for an extra two dollars. It's very tender. I've had skewers that are like very, very charcoal on the outside, so it's more chewy. Personally, I actually prefer satay that's like this, where the meat is more tender. And their satay sauce is more like a smooth paste. They've got some sprinkled fried shallots on top. The chicken, it's got a little bit of charred bits on it. So you can kind of taste a little bit of the smoky flavor. They've got some sweet soy sauce and they've got that smooth satay sauce. Guys, I've just arrived at Enjoy Me. So I was speaking to the owners earlier. Enjoy Me actually opened in 2016, first in Kensington. And then after a couple of years, they moved to the CBD, which is this location that I'm at right now. And then recently they opened up like an express restaurant in Chatswood. Here at this restaurant, in addition to being able to order noodles, you can also buy a range of different items like drinks and desserts, snacks. And I've got myself a bowl of noodles and also some chicken satay. I asked the, the guys here, like, what is your most popular item? I would love to order that. And the noodles was what was suggested to me. absolutely beautiful it's a dry noodle and we've got some veggies we've got barbecue pork we've got chicken and then we've got egg noodles we've got bean sprouts we've got one wonton and when they were putting the noodles into the bowl I noticed that there was like a savory sauce and then also I think some pork fat and then we've got chicken satay skewers with rice cakes and pickles and also doused in peanut sauce they were grilling it on the fire and it smelled amazing guys i want to eat these noodles before it gets too cold you got to make sure you toss these noodles really well because there's a lot of sauce at the bottom so you want to make sure that these noodles each strand is properly coated in that sauce it's soft but it's got a good chew to it it actually grabs onto the sauce quite well as well so in terms of toppings there's vegetables there's barbecue pork there's chicken and then there's also a tea egg There's a very prominent savory flavor in these eggs of all the different variety of meats in my bowl of noodles. My favorite is probably the chicken, the marinated chicken. I got given this to try. I was like, is this a Coca-Cola? And they're like, nope, it is not Coca-Cola. <laughs> I think I'm gonna offend a bunch of people <laughs> when I say what this tastes like. It tastes a little bit like when you're sick and you need to drink cough syrup. I don't love it, but I don't hate it either. Let's try these chicken satays. 
And when it first arrived on my table, I was like, are these like, massive radishes? And they were like, no, they're rice cakes. And I was like, oh. This chicken satay is completely doused in peanut soup. And we've got some um, fried shallots on top as well. Oh, I really like the satay. You've got chunks of chopped peanuts in the peanut sauce. It's sweet, it's savory. The chicken is still relatively juicy. I think the pickles are a really nice addition just because the satay sauce can get a bit rich and, and thick. Okay, I'm going to finish the rest of these satays and then we're moving on to the next location on this list. Mind you, we're not doing all of this in one day. This is going to be another day. Okay, I decided to finish this video off with, oh wow, this looks amazing. So I went to Roseberry Mertaba and I got myself a banana, peanut and chocolate Mertaba. So there's no seating available at that location. And once I ordered it, I waited about 15 to 20 minutes. All right guys, I just got home. So what we've got is we've got a Mertaba Manis. I hope I pronounced it right. But this is an Indonesian sweet, thick pancake. So you could choose four toppings and I chose chocolate, banana, and also peanuts. So you've got your filling in between like a thick, porous pancake. Have I tried this before? If I've tried before, I don't remember doing so. The pancake itself has like a fluffy, chewy texture and then it's sweet and it's buttery. And on the very outside, there's got a little bit of a, like a crunchy exterior as well. The chocolate is like the chocolate sprinkles and then they've got crushed peanuts and then thin slices of banana. If you've had this before, like what are your go-to fillings? What kind of fillings would work? I feel like I'd be overly simplifying this if I were to just compare it to a pancake because I know how to make a pancake because with this, it's got a thickness to it and then it's got like a crispness on the outside. So you have to make sure that you get the outside nice and crisp, but you don't burn it, but to also make sure that the inside is cooked well, so it's like chewy and elastic-y. I think for me, if I were to order this again, I probably wouldn't add the chocolate sprinkles. I can do without that extra sweetness, but I love the texture of this. And this is very, very Moorish. And that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on your notification bell if you haven't already. And make sure you follow me on my Instagram and TikTok because I post a lot of um, behind the scenes stuff on my Instagram that I don't post on YouTube. And yeah, have an amazing rest of the week and I'll see you in my next video next week. Bye. I'm not used to this taste for those that really like this drink because obviously this is a super popular drink. What do you like about it? And like, what, how would you describe the flavor of this drink? This tastes like a, a fizzy plum juice drink to me. Slightly fizzy.